Hi folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyNote2.com. So, if you rooted your phone, um, I highly recommend you make a backup ROM of your Galaxy Note 2 uh, because this will save everything. It's going to back up your whole OS operating system with all of your apps just the way it is with all of your passwords to Gmail, all your, your app data, everything. Um, so when you install a custom ROM, something goes wrong, you can easily restore back to whatever you had before. So here's how to do it. Um, you'll of course need to have your phone rooted with Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you followed my methods at uh, GalaxyNote2Root.com to root your Galaxy Note 2, um, then you already have all of that. So go ahead and, and turn your phone off. All right, power off, and we'll boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, once it's powered off, go ahead and hold down. Um, let me take the case out so you can see a little bit better. Uh, volume up, center button, and the power button together for about five seconds. You'll see the Galaxy Note 2 and you'll see Clockwork Mod Recovery. And you can let go of the buttons when you see the Clockwork Mod Recovery here. And here's the first thing you should do. Um, go to Backup and Restore. Alright. And then go to um, either Backup. That will back up to uh, your internal storage. Alright. Or you can back up to your external SD card. You know, either way. I like to use the internal because that because I tend to move my micro SD card from phone to phone and sometimes I forget where the backup is. This way it's always going to be on the phone, um, the stock ROM that I have uh, that's after I root it. So this will back up and it will start backing up um, your current ROM which you know which will be great. So I'll be back when this is done and also also show you how to uh, restore all of your you know uh, the ROM that you just backed up so I'll be back um, it should take about five minutes and also make sure you have enough battery when you do this um, just when you do this kind of stuff just have at least 50% um, you know just so you have enough anyway I'll be back hi right, folks so it is done um, as you can see I didn't get any error now I will show you how to restore um, basically uh, you know exact same thing you get in here and you go to restore and you'll be able to choose um, the folder these things get it will show you which folder it gets stored at um, so it's gonna be under your internal storage which is SD card directory clockwork mod and backup folder now you can go ahead and rename these folders um, just when you when you rename these folders do not insert any spaces like you know what I usually do is just add like a word at the end like you know I'll add stock after the 10 and then um, you can restore it now if you add spaces you try to restore it you'll get MD5 error so do not put spaces when you rename these folders um, so go ahead and hit the button here if you're gonna restore um, something went wrong with your phone and say yes and this will start restoring your phone alright and I'll show you that after I restore my my uh, ROM that everything exactly the same and also when you restore you don't need to do a factory reset um, because it's gonna restore pretty much everything uh, so think of it as a time machine for your Galaxy Note 2 um, so I'll be back when this restores hi folks so here's the moment of the truth um, it's restore complete and no errors um, go back and uh, reboot system now and cross my fingers. This is actually the first time restoring, backing up and restoring. <laughs> that it work. I know it will work, um, so it should be fine. So, let's say you installed a new custom ROM. You put did a bunch of new things, and you put a new Angry Birds, and went to level 50 or something. And then for some reason, something went wrong. Your your hell went froze up or whatever, and you know, um, you can get your phone back. But um, you use the restore function and it will restore it back to your older Angry Birds with the level 30. So um, there you go. All my apps are there. Uh, just backed up and restored. Now this is highly recommended. Uh, let me show you. You can get ES File Explorer um, or the use of my files and go to go to Clockwork Mod here. Go to backup and you'll see there's a folder now. Now, when you back up the Clockwork Mod, um, if you want to move this whole thing to your hard disk, uh, the newer Clockwork Mod version uses the same called blobs. So these are actually bits and pieces of the backup. So you actually have to back up the whole Clockwork Mod 
um, directory if you want to save it to your hard disk or move it to the hard disk you just have to move it back to the same directory here um, if you want to get rid of the backups simply go ahead and uh, delete some of your backup folder do not delete the blobs um, and then you know and then reboot into Clockwork My Recovery and it will it will automatically find the blobs that are supposed to be erased um, I don't know if you get it just make, make sure you back up you know you you um, you save the whole you copy the whole folders over and also when you make uh, multiple backups of the same ROM um, with the blobs it, it will not back up the whole thing again so that's why it's cool because uh, if you let's say I'm using this ROM I added five more apps and I backed up then it's actually gonna only add that much space and instead of starting from scratch um, you know that's the way it was with the blobs it will just add you know blobs for the five more apps anyway um, that's how you back up your ROM restore your ROM very important if you're gonna install custom ROMs and I just wanted to make this video to make it clear and I hope this helps you and uh, make sure you make a backup ROM before you uh, install custom ROMs just helps with everything before you start messing with titanium backup app and you know deleting bloatware whatever you want to do um, now you have a complete backup and uh, it's easy for you to get back up and running if something goes wrong with your phone within five to ten minutes anyway thanks you guys I hope you guys uh, learned a lot if you are a noob coming to the Galaxy Note 2 uh, and if you're not a noob and uh, then you don't even need to watch this video but thanks again for watching this video if you like this video um, don't forget to hit that like button for me here subscribe button up there and if you have a Galaxy Note 2 uh, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote2root.com we update you once a week with uh, ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone and uh, have a great um, week and stay high on Android, yeah. That was how to back up and restore your ROM using Clockwork Mod Recovery. Yeah.